very well. So we worked on our brightness here. We use the brightness dark. There's other properties, of course, we can pass as you saw by now, and you should have done uh, a little bit of research and and play with other properties we can pass as well. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, I can change the primary color. What is this primary color? Well, the, in material design, which is exactly what we're using in Flutter in this case, that's why we have this name called Material App. We have a framework per se on, on how we structure our user interface, especially in terms of the colors. So any material application has what we call primary colors, as the name imply, is the color that should dominate the application. And then we have accent colors, which are going to be used for pop ups or alert dialogues or um, floating buttons and so forth. OK, so there's this hierarchy that allows us to have a better flow color wise on how to work with colors in material app in material design. So I can say I want the primary color of my entire application to be a certain color. So I can say, for instance, colors and I can say I want light blue. And the one thing I haven't showed you is that with colors as such, we can actually pass whether we want this to be heavy or not by passing a value as in a list. In this case, I can say I want really bold. I can say 700 or 900 if that is what we want. Notice the color has changed to light 900. And if I make this 100, also notice it's a lighter color, color right? It's essentially the same when we talk about font weight, right? We have font weight 300, uh, 900, 100, and so forth. So the bigger the number, the more, f the fuller the color. So light blue, is that what we've said? Indeed, I'm going to say 800 for now. Okay, let's save this and run and see what's going to happen. So this is what we have right now. In a second, voila, you can see now the color has changed. Notice something also very interesting. Now we have this, we have two colors here. We have this top color and we have this main color here. And this color here looks very much like this color at the top. So that means because we said this is a primary color and the way material design is set up, it knows how to subdivide all those colors, how to distribute them. Notice our up bar it has a lighter color which we didn't create, right? Because all we said here is that we want the primary color to be this light blue 800. And we can see at the top here, but then the app bar is a lighter car color. This is all done in a background, right? Because the material app knows, okay, if this is a primary color, that's great. That means then I will have to distribute the color, this palette color accordingly. So at the top, this bar here, Okay, we have that dark color. And then from our main color at the top here, we get this other lighter color for our app bar. All of that is done for us because we specify a primary color. Right? Let's change this to perhaps a um, better color or different color, I should say. How about gray as such? Notice there is the color. Save that. Of course, we need to run this. Obviously, that's going to change. But also notice the same thing as I said. Okay, there's that those two variants. All of that done for us. Theme data also lets us uh, create a theme for our text because it's all about creating a cohesive, coherent user interface using material design, right? So we can also come here and say theme. Look at that. We have text theme and many other properties we can pass. Let's start with our text theme. What is this? Well, it's a way for us to theme our text throughout the entire application. So in this case here, I'm going to have to pass a text theme object, have to pass properties here. Well, the properties we can pass is display four, display three, and all of that. We can pass this uh, headline, title, subheaders, body, body one, two, captions, buttons, and so forth. So all of these we can specify and customize the look of. Let's start with headlines. So I'm going to say headline. Notice we have to pass a text style, right? Because we want to style all of the headlines that may happen in our application here. So in this case, I'm going to say text style. We've seen this before. I'm going to say font size. I'm going to just give it a 34. Font weight. Let's give it, let's see, font weight. And I want this to be bold. Now let's go ahead and run this. Now, because we don't really have a header uh, item here, that's why nothing is happening. You don't see anything. If we were to add 
anything that would contain a header, right, we would see the difference, right? Okay, so I'm going to leave it as it is right now. Let's go ahead and change something that we can actually see according to this application. So one of which is going to be the text um, here body. Now, the body, there's two kinds of body, there's body one and body two, we want body one. In this case, I'm going to pass a text style. And I'm going to change the size so font size to a really big number there. So I'm going to save this. So now it's running, notice nothing has changed, right? Because we said that we want to make sure that anything inside of our material app, in this case, this quiz app, because that's what we're calling that's the child child widget, it should set the text style for anything that is body one to 45. Yet, this is part of body one and the text doesn't change what's going on. Well, the reason nothing is changed is because if we go to home here, notice also, this is the child, right? So if we have changed something internally in child, that means that we are overriding whatever the parent is saying for us to do, which means this being the parent quiz app is child, this is the parent where we are adding our text theme, this will be overridden makes sense, right? Because if we are changing something at the child level, that means we don't want anything from the parent. It makes sense. We are some sort of a rebel, if you will. So that means for that work, we actually have to come down here because this is the text that we are showing here. We have to get rid of this style because this is what it's overriding what we want to be shown. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and comment out that for a second. I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and run again. In a second here, you can see the text has changed the size because we exaggerated it a little bit. So to show you, okay, so if I say, five, for instance, that is a little bit of another exaggeration, of course, you know, it's going to be really, really small, can't even see it. Now, you know, every time we want to change something inside of our material app, right, the parent, we must make sure that we haven't overridden it because this is actually overriding it, even though it doesn't seem like it, right. And this makes sense, because the whole idea of creating a theme is so that we don't have to do this, right. I'll show you later how to actually override whatever we are receiving from the parent. If we want to actually go deeper and change this style or anything else we want in our text or any other widget. But for now, this is what we're doing. Okay, so make sure that we comment out whatever we have passed here, in order for our theme data from our parent theming actually takes over.